Do you like to listen to podcasts? And have you ever wondered what would it take you to produce your own podcast show and where would you host it? And can you host it for free? Well, here's a good solution and I'll have a brief tutorial on how you can podcast for free with CastBox. CastBox is actually an app that allows you to listen to your most favorite podcasts, but it can do much more. It, you can also podcast for free. You have to go to the website uh, castbox.fm and there you scroll down to the very end of the page and on the left side you see this little button where it says for podcasters. So you click on the link for podcasters and then this window comes up. If you scroll down on this uh, site, you can read here that you can host for free with unlimited storage. So let's go back, scroll up again, and there you click the button, upload your audio. And you might as well say now, hey, wait a second, I'm not registered yet, so can I already upload my audio? Well, hang on, well, I'll lead you through the process. So click on that link, upload your audio. And there you can sign in. You have four options how you can sign in, either with Facebook, Google, Twitter, or with Line. I have chosen Facebook. You can choose whatever you want. So just click on your option that you prefer. And once you've done that, this uh, window comes up next where it says Upload. Upload your audio file to CastBox. And of course, you can only upload one file at a time and the file size can be up to 200 megabytes. Well, for an audio podcast, which is uh, usually in an MP3 format, that is a lot of space. Even if you have a one hour podcast show, you won't need 200 megabytes. So go ahead and click on upload. And then here, your podcast episode starts to upload and you can see the status of your upload in this green bar. And this goes actually very quick. So then you have to select the channel uh, where this podcast episode belongs to. But since this is your first episode, you actually do have to create a new channel. And the channel, this is basically the podcast name, the name of your podcast show. So you have to go ahead and then here, create a new channel, click on that link, and then this window pops up, and then you have to fill in all the information that is needed here, the channel name. This could be, for example, Linda's Literature Podcasts or Peter's Science Fiction Show, any name you can think of, depending on what your your podcast uh, name is. So you have to think of that uh, beforehand, of course. Then fill in your email address. You can upload a photo as your cover art. This is a, a must. You have to do this. Uh, it's very important because you want to you want people to find your podcast, and the size should not less than 600 by 600 pixels. But I would recommend here to upload a photo which has 1400 by 1400 pixels because this is the size that later on is needed if you submit your podcast to iTunes. And of course, you want your podcast to be listed in iTunes. And then below that, below the photo, you can select up to three categories that your podcast go, falls into and then give uh, a channel description. And it's very important that uh, it should be more than one sentence. You, uh, you have to write a few sentences so that people, when they once they discover your podcast, that they can read what your podcast is all about. Okay, I have already created a channel. So, but if this is the first time you do this, then yeah, you click on publish here after you have uh, submitted all the information, and then you're back to the site where your podcast in the meantime has already uploaded. So my podcast channel is called Testing Castbox. So I select that, then I have to write in the further information on the episode. This is of course episode one, and this is a, a podcast on on testing Castbox as a, a pod, 
podcast provider. So the episode one is how to get started. Then I have also a, a cover art for my episode that I can upload here. And then I need to deliver here uh, an episode description for what this episode is all about. So fill in all the information here and then click on publish. And then you're done. And then you come to this site here, which is your corner, so to say, on CastBox. You see the menu up here. And this has my episodes. These are my episodes that I have produced. Then you have my you can see my channels. These are all your podcast shows that you uh, have produced. So, so far I have only this podcast, which is called Testing Castbox. Uh, and I could add other podcast shows whenever I want. It's very easy. It's just the same process that you've seen before. Then history, under history, you will see all the podcasts that you have listened to. These these can be other podcasts that you find on uh, CastBox. Then favorites, these are your favorite uh, podcast episodes that you mark as your favorites ones. And then subscribed, these are the podcasts that you're subscribed to. Okay, as you see here, this red field uh, in of, of, of my podcast show testing uh, cast box. Uh, there's this red fi field where it says your name. This will be the name that will be displayed uh, on on all uh, podcast apps. Um, and this is basically the author. You're listed as the author of the podcast. So if you are logged in via Facebook, then uh, your Facebook name will be displayed here. So in other words, if you want to have, let's say, your organization's name be displayed here as the author of the podcast, then I would recommend create a, G a Gmail address. So you have a Gmail account on, uh, with Google, uh, and then you have the uh, information here as listed as the author if, if you want to have your organization, the name of the organization here listed. The next thing that's very important is the so-called... RSS link. The RSS link is very important uh, so that people can subscribe to your podcast on, on iTunes. The RSS link is needed if you submit your podcast to iTunes. I'll come to that. I'll come back to that later. And then you have an edit button here. Then you can edit your uh, podcast show again, can change the cover art. Uh, you can change the information. And of course, the delete button. And then if you hit that one, then you will delete your entire podcast show with all the episodes that you've produced. So if I click on the podcast show, testing cast box, this will come up here. Uh, I have listed all the episodes here, as you can see. And then you see this little section here, subscribed and played. This is the only thing where I would say CastBox needs a little improvement because the subscription that are listed here uh, are only the subscribers on CastBox. I've tested this with other podcast apps. I've tested this with iTunes because the podcast is already listed on iTunes, but it won't show these subscriptions. It only shows the subscriptions from CastBox because once you have created your uh, podcast, it is automatically listed in CastBox and you can find it on the CastBox app. So this subscription here is only one subscriber because that's me, because I've done this video right after I've published this and uh, the subscription comes through CastBox. Also, you see that this uh, podcast has been played 40 times. Now this doesn't say anything because I don't get any information which episode was played it basically says your podcast show has been played 40 times so it needs a little improvement on the statistics on the statistics because uh, you don't get any helpful information here then when you hit the share button you have the option to share your podcast uh, with let's say facebook twitter and others as you can see here and then we click on we click on an episode 
So if you want to, for example, yeah, <laughs> play an episode here, click the play button. What, you, what I don't see here, what they don't offer at CastBox so far is a direct link to the actual MP3 file. So if you are having uh, an extra website for your podcast and if you would like to deliver your uh, MP3 file there so that it can be played there, it is not possible because they do not uh, offer that to, uh, to have a direct link. So let's see what, what you can get if you click the share button. You have the options again with Facebook, Twitter and others like we've seen before. And you get an HTML code that you can transfer to your website. So let's see what this would look like if you embed this player, this HTML code on your website. So you put this in a, in a blog post of your WordPress site and this is what you get. You get a nice player, people can share, they can subscribe. Uh, what I don't like is that it po uh, shows all the other episodes. Now I have only uploaded four episodes so far and since this is only a little podcast to test the whole thing and to help people to get started, uh, I won't upload any further uh, episodes. But so far all the other episodes are being displayed here and I only wanted to have this episode, this particular episode that I'm actually sharing. And also uh, what I don't really like is that it starts automatically by default. So it plays automatically. So if people are visiting your website, then automatically uh, the player starts to, to play the podcast episode. But there's a way to work around it. If you uh, are on, uh, if you edit your, your, your post, your blog post, where you have embedded the player, then you have to set up this line, click to continue to read or something like that. And then you s embed the player below that line. So then people, when they come on your website and they see this blog post, then they don't get to see the player right away so they have to click on the in, they have to click in that post on continue reading and then the player will would open and start to play automatically okay let's go back to cast box here we are back again in this section and as i said here is this rss link i said i would come back to that so you click that rss link and then this window pops up with this long RSS feed and you've got to copy that. Uh, there's this copy button and you could then go ahead and submit this link on iTunes, but I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, I'd rather recommend to submit this link on FeedBurner. On FeedBurner, you get some little more statistics and then people, if they subscribe on uh, iTunes or other podcast apps that uh, go through iTunes, then they will be subscribed to you through this f through the FeedBurner. And you might later on uh, maybe uh, want to get more statistics. If you want like to get really serious about podcasting, you would like to make more of it then you might think of changing the provider, the, the host. So let's say you have another host to uh, upload your, your podcast episodes, then you would actually have to start from scratch uh, if you have another RSS feed. Well, with FeedBurner, you simply go to FeedBurner and change the RSS feed information there and people still are connected to you through the FeedBurner RSS feed. So you won't lose your audience. So that's very helpful. Okay, finally, I would like to show you the control panel on the very top right. You see the home button, you see the upload button. On the upload button, you simply uh, upload your podcast episodes, just as we have seen it before. And then again, here, uh, your name will be displayed on the right. 
And as I said before, if you want, if you do not want your Facebook name listed here, because the name that is listed here is also listed as the podcast author. Uh, so this name that's displayed here will be seen by many others, by all the people that are listening to your podcasts. So if you want your organization's name, you need to make sure you, you have a Google address, a Gmail account, and you can change that there. Okay, and if you scroll, if you click on, on, on your name, then you have a drop down menu, which is basically the same menu uh, as we've seen already before, and you can sign out here as well. And then one final thing, if you go to the home button, click the home button, then this is the home screen, and there you have uh, a lot of uh, recommendations of other podcasts, and you can search for other podcasts, listen to podcasts, this is a really nice thing. So in the next time you come back to castbox.fm and if you want to go to your control panel, well, first of all, you, you go to the website castbox.fm and then you click on this link, listen now on the top right. And then you are back to the home screen and there you can sign in again. Thank you for watching. This is Castbox. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, please share it with others. And if you start your podcast on CastBox, then please post your link below this video so that other people can find it as well. Thank you for listening.